also a surprising truth that can lift you if you're in a flare-up with chronic fatigue syndrome. This is really interesting and <laughs> exciting and I just want to share it with you. I'm Katie Simpson if we haven't met. I have chronic fatigue, I've had it for my whole life and I really want to help you with your difficulties so that you don't have to go through the great struggles that I have. So let's get into the video. So I watched a video just earlier while I was in a flare-up um, by Miguel from CFS Recovery. I'll put his link, the link to his video below and it was so interesting and eye-opening. He was talking about traveling with CFS and does it make you worse or better? And there's some science, I believe, to prove this, and he has proved it himself and with numerous people, that, you know, we really worry, don't we, if we've got chronic fatigue and we need to travel or we want to travel and we just don't think we can manage it. If we're not in severe chronic fatigue where you are bed bound and you really um, need a great deal of help just to do the basic things of life, then this doesn't apply to you at the moment. But hopefully, hopefully it will. So if you're somebody with moderate um, CFS, uh, or even mild CFS, and you have a journey coming up or you're thinking of traveling, we get very worried about it. Can we do it? Uh, can we get various flights? Can we be in busy places? Can we be in hot places? Can we be somewhere that's nowhere near our bed um, and we, we might not be anywhere near a pharmacy to get medications? Can we be somewhere where we don't really understand the language and it might be difficult to get hold of the various dietary things that we feel that we need? Um, can we be somewhere where we're away from our sort of security blankets or our close friends who understand us and all these sorts of things? And we can get very, very worried um, even getting ready to pack, um, booking the flights or taxis or accommodation, all that can be tiring. And our nervous system can really get ramped up and panic about it. Um, I'm certainly like that. And all oh, you start ruminating about all the possible situations and uh, things that you might need to plan for. And it's good to be sensible and plan for things. But actually, they found that a lot of people, their nervous system kicks into a different gear um, when they go away. And it actually really, really helps CFS. They can find that their symptoms can completely disappear. I've found that to quite a big extent myself, actually. I had to go to see a special doctor for the chronic Lyme disease. And I had to go to Ireland, which involved getting a plane, getting a taxi, various taxis, actually, um, having to walk a bit and things like that. And I was in bed a lot and wondering how on earth am I going to do this? I've got to leave really early in the morning, which is very hard for me. And I've done it three times now and actually got to the point where I thought, I can do this, I love this. Um, and on the third time, I was able to walk down a fairly steep hill into the town, have a little look around, go to a coffee shop. And I was just completely amazed. And it was a long day as well. I really felt my symptoms when I got back to the airport and, and I, I couldn't go to the, the lounge. Um, there was something, my ticket wouldn't allow me to get to this lounge. I had to go a long way to try and find this place in the first place. And I, I really started getting very tired at that point, but you know, the whole experience I've really enjoyed. And I have just surprised myself today because 
I've been in bed uh, till half past two this afternoon, feeling very heavy symptoms of fatigue and the laboured breathing that can come with that um, and just not being able to do anything. And um, I thought, right, I need to take the dog out. Um, I've got a problem with my car. Will the car work? Ooh, worry, worry, worry. And I just thought to myself, do you know, it's not raining. It's a nice day. I've got a little bit of time. I might come to this special woodland, um, <laughs> which is further away from normal. I don't normally drive myself um it's it's about it's a quarter of an hour drive away from the house um and that's quite a lot for me and i thought no i'm gonna do it i'm gonna have a nice time because of what i'm learning on here from miguel's video so do go and watch that if you haven't watched it it's really fascinating and you know i'm able to do this video now I'm feeling a lot better. It's it's so beautiful here. It's it's an ancient woodland um, owned by the City of London Council. And we are I'm here with my little doggy and we're in the mire at the moment. It's called the mire. And you walk along, if I can show you, this little track and his little dog it's a very very narrow track but it's fun and it's quiet and peaceful and beautiful so i've come out to a new environment fresh air quietness but it doesn't have to be quiet it can be loud if you want just something that's special for you a place that's special for you something that just lifts you gets you out of the norm even just sitting on a different chair in the house can actually do it to some extent as well. Sitting somewhere different um, from normal within the house. So I'd love you to try it and let me know if you do and if it helped you. And I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.